Okay, everybody, welcome to lab six on servo motors. We are going to control a simple servo motor just using a couple of functions. So the first thing you got to do is open your Arduino IDE. This is the the interface that we will use in order to program the Arduino. So the first thing we got to do is include our servo library. Okay, before that, just make sure that your port or your Arduino is connected. Remember that it doesn't matter if it doesn't say COM4, each computer will have a different port for when you connect the Arduino. The important thing is that in front of it, in front of the COM port, it says Arduino Uno. Okay, after you verify that you have your Arduino connected, you are going to go to Sketch and then include library and you're going to look for a library called Servo. You're going to click on Servo. As soon as you click on Servo, you will have on the first line of code the include servo library okay after that we're going to create our object let's declare our object my servo this is just the name remember that it can be any variable that you want we're just creating an object called my servo then on the setup we are going to attach that servo to a pin remember that we connected pin pin d7 vcc and ground to our shield now this number seven is the pin that we are going to control the servo with on your tinkercad um, activity you used the pin nine okay so that's going to be the difference on the shield we use pin seven on the tinkercad simulation we use pin nine so it's not a major difference or it's not a major change then after that we're going to click on we're going to go to the loop and we're going to start writing some functions down the first one is my servo dot write my servo dot write will allow this servo to move in a certain way. Now, there are two types of servos. You should have seen this on the video, on the previous video, where you have continuous and non-continuous servos. The continuous servos just um, has a speed and a different speed depending on the pulse width modulation, which is the PWM. Okay? On the non-continuous servo, this PWM will actually give the servo of um, it will give a command that it should be on certain degrees. Okay, so depending on the PWM, it will position itself from zero to 180 degrees. In your case, your physical servo motor, it's a continuous servo. So since we only have between 0 and 180 degrees, we will have a different speed and direction, okay? So, the first part or the middle, like the middle of the, of, of the servo motor, it's 90 degrees, right? At this position, the servo motor should be in a complete stop, okay? Let's try that out right now. I'm going to just press the check the check mark in order to compile the code and then I'm going to upload the code to my Arduino. Now at this point as you can see on the video the servo is completely stopped. Okay now if we want full speed on one direction we are just gonna put right zero. Remember that we only have values between 0 and 180. So 0 I'm gonna press verify and then I'm going to click on upload and I'm going to see my, my servo going one way. Okay, there you can see the servo. I'm going to stop it one more time. So the servo will stop. And on, on the other end, let's say we want to decrease the speed on that direction. I'm just going to put um, maybe 60 or 70 getting close to 90 which is the stop and it will be a lot slower the servo will move slower okay there you can see it okay, I'm gonna stop it again then then click up to upload now remember we can do all this we can do all this with uh, with switches what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna control the speed of the servo motor using the 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 potentiometer that we have there the little blue knob that we have on the shield okay now we're going to go all the way to the other side of our um 
PWM, which is 180 degrees, and now I should get full speed of the servo motor in the other direction. Okay, now you can see it. Now it's going the other way. And I'm going to stop it. Okay, so as you can see, it's a very simple to control um, way of the Arduino. Imagine that this continuous servo, which has a lot of torque because servo motors have a lot of torque, um, can be used to control the drivetrain of a robot or it can control the speed of any, um, any machine that you're working on or that you have created. Okay, now let's try to control our servo motor using the knob, using a potentiometer, which is gonna allow us to change the speed and the rotation of our servo. So the first thing we gotta do is that, let's create a serial begin just, because, just so we can see the values of the potentiometer on our um, serial monitor, okay? That's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna just type in serial.begin. Then after that, we are going to create a variable, which is going to be A0. Remember that this sensor or this rotation sensor, which is potentiometer, is going to be on A0. So I'm going to create a variable called pot on A0. Okay. Then after that, I am going to just analog read the potentiometer, and I'm going to save it on a rotation variable just so I can see it. And finally, I will be creating and printing my rotation and this way I can see how it looks like. So the final um, code, let me just put it a little bit more organized, it's going to be the setup, then I have the void loop and on the void loop I have, I'm reading the potentiometer just as we did and we have done it in previous um, labs and I'm going to print the value of that rotation, okay? So I'm going to just remember that right now my servo, it's on 90, so it's completely stopped. What I'm going to see is when I move the knob, when I move that little rotation sensor, I'm going to see a, a, a change. So I'm going to click on upload. Well, first verify, make sure that the sketch is completed and it's working. And then you can go to rotation. Okay, now let's click on the serial monitor on the top right. And we should see a zero, okay, a string of zeros just um, going down. Now I'm going to start moving the knob clockwise. And when I move the knob clockwise, I can see that the values start changing. Kind of like when we did the light sensor or the photoresistor. Now I'm going to move the knob all the way to the right, all the way to the right. And I can see that I get all the range of numbers. Okay, so I'm getting 10 bits on this um, sensor, which is all the way from 0 to 1023. That is a perfect range, and I can play around with this range, okay? Now, we're going to have to convert this because I only have from 0 to 180 on my servo. Okay, now... Since we don't have the same range, the range of rotation is from 0 to 1023, and the potentiometer, I'm sorry, the PWM of the motor goes from 0 to 180, we need to make a rule of 3 or kind of like a mapping system to get the real values, okay? So, what we're going to do is that we have a really interesting function on Arduino that is called map. So I'm going to create a variable called control, and I'm going to use this variable in order to control the right function of the PWM. So I'm going to use the map function, and I'm going to uh, first, the first parameter is going to be the variable that I want to map. Then I'm going to have the lower bound of that variable, and then the upper bound of that variable. Next, it's going to be the lower bound of the output of the map or the output variable and then the upper bound of the higher part of this uh, variable. So basically what this says is that when the value of rotation is zero, the value of control is going to be zero. And when the value of rotation is 1023, the value of 
control is going to be 180. So it's just the rule of three. It kind of just does it on its own and it saves a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this 90 now for the variable rote control because I'm going to move the knob and I'm going to control my system. Okay, so I'm going to just click on verify. And I'm going to click on check or upload. And now on zero, as you can see, the, the, the servo is going on one side. When I start moving the knob very slowly, I will see that this, the motor stops all the way to 90. If I continue, then it should go all the way around, like a, on a different direction, all the way to its full speed to the max, okay? Okay guys, uh, this is our first um, servo control with a shield and using a rotational sensor, which is the potentiometer that I just showed you. So guys, congratulations. I hope you get some great ideas in order for do, to do your projects. And as we do it here, it's done in real life, okay? Just with bigger servo motors and with bigger knobs in that case, okay?